Well, as officials closely watch schools, so do parents, and they have many concerns that our next guest has given a lot of thought to. We are talking about Leanne Lyon Bartley. She's the Executive Vice President of Health, Safety, Environment, and Quality at Horizon North Logistics, and she also teaches health and safety at Seneca College with 20 years of experience in the field. She's, in fact, become known as the Safety Diva, and the Safety Diva joins us in Brampton, Ontario this morning. Leanne, thanks for joining us today. Hi, good morning, Michael. Listen, I want to begin uh, with what we just heard there in, in Jayla's report, that there will be individual cases, say health officials, but so long as we're not looking at whole schools breaking out, that would be considered good. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, you know, I, it's going to happen. You're going to have some cases. You know, a lot of people have been going to work every single day. We have to remember that the schools are indeed workplaces. And so those protocols are going to be really important to actually put into practice, you know, and everybody's got to really follow the plan and work together. We've been working since the beginning. You know, my company, we work in airports, we work in office building, retail facilities, we're in defense facilities. So, you know, we know that the cases will happen, but it's how you react to them and how quickly you follow up and make sure that, you know, this was an isolated case before it becomes an outbreak, you can help to eliminate the likelihood that it could get worse. Okay, well, let's focus on parents right now because uh, I'm wondering about your message to anxious parents in this moment in time for those who are choosing to send their kids back to school despite their concerns. What do you say to them? Yeah, so I'm a parent first and foremost, right? I, uh, my son is Cameron, he's seven years old. And a lot of people have asked me, Leanne, are you sending your son back to school? And I said, yes. And, and the reason for that, there's a number of reasons. You know, the schools are gonna be cleaned and disinfected, never like they have before. You know, so I think we have to have some comfort and, and also watch, you know, and, and see how are they actually doing the cleaning and disinfection. If they say that it's gonna be done twice a day, we'll ask those questions. Follow up with the teacher, with the principal, is it happening? You know, we know that masks, that wearing the masks does make a difference. And so, you know what, the teachers, the principals, we really need to make sure that there's high compliance to the mask wearing in the schools by the adults. Now the kids, that's another story. It's gonna be difficult for the kids, especially the younger they are, to wear that mask all day. And what I've been doing is trying to prepare my son for wearing those masks, helping him to learn how to put it on and off by himself. You know, when we go out, make sure that he sees everyone else is wearing the masks too. So it is difficult, the mask wearing for the kids, but we've got to do our best and hopefully that will help make a difference. And I know that it will if we can get high compliance. The other thing is that there are people like me, right? There's a lot of safety professionals out there. And I know that a lot of these school boards have safety professionals who've been helping them to put their plans together. There's also public health. There's a whole host of public health inspectors that have been working with the school boards to help make sure that what they're doing is going to be as safe as possible. Let but the me, biggest thing, mm -hmm. go ahead. I was going to say, you know, you talk about this high compliance among adults, and I guess part of that too is not just teachers and administrators and school officials, but also parents, because if you want high compliance, well, that assumes that parents actually know what protocols are out there to keep their kids safe. Yes. And I say, you know what, you need to get informed. So. All of the school boards, they do have websites. I'm sure the schools are going to be providing us information. I'm going to find out on Wednesday is my child's first day. We've already gotten some information. They've been communicating with us quite a lot through their communication systems on what to do and what not to do. So it's really, you know, pay attention to those, to those news briefings, to that information that you're going to get. But also look on their websites and be informed. The biggest thing for us is to be informed. It's a virus, you know, and viruses can't walk. They don't drive in cars. They can't move from one place to another unless we, the humans, help help make it move. So if we all just really stick to the rules and do our best to make this happen, it will be a safer environment for the kids. And one thing I've often said is my child was probably more at risk of catching all kinds of infectious diseases before coronavirus. Now coronavirus is added to the list. But it's a safer environment than it was probably before because of the increased protocols, they're putting public health nurses into the school systems to help the schools. They're doing so much more than they did before. So my child is probably safer now 
than he was before COVID. And I guess that's the one comfort you have in terms of sending your son back to school. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Leanne, I appreciate the time. Thank you for the insight and all that. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. That is Leanne Lyon-Bartley, Executive Vice President of Health, Safety, Environment and Quality at Horizon North Logistics. She is in Brampton, Ontario.